In this video, we're looking at what powers are. If you look at these two expressions here, these numbers in the corners are called the powers, whereas the 3 or the a can be called the baits. So on the left, we have the base of 3 raised to the power of 2. And on the right, we have a base of a to the power of 3. You might also sometimes see the power being called the order or the index. But don't worry about this, because power, order, and index all mean exactly the same thing. Whatever you call them, though, all they do is tell you how many times that base needs to be multiplied by itself. So 3 to the power of 2, which you could also say as 3 squared, just means 3 times 3, which is 9. So 3 squared is 9. Or for a to the power of 3, which we can call a cubed, we could write it as a times a times a. It's just that this is a lot longer and messier, so we generally keep it in the a cubed form. To be able to use powers properly, you need to know a whole bunch of rules. But in this video, we're just going to cover the three most basic ones. The first is that anything to the power of 0 is just 1. And it doesn't matter if that's a number like 7 to the power of 0, or a variable like p that's to the power of 0. It will always be 1. So 7 to the power of 0 equals 1, and p to the power of 0 equals 1. Even if you have something weird, like 36b to the power of 0, it's still going to equal 1, because the whole 36b is to the power of 0. The second rule is that anything to the power of 1 is just itself. So 7 to the power of 1 is just 7, p to the power of 1 is just p, and 36b to the power of 1 would be 36b. This also means that if you had a term like e, then you could add a power of 1 to the corner if you wanted to, and it wouldn't have changed its value at all, because e is exactly the same thing as e to the power of 1. The last rule is that if the base of a number is a 1, like 1 to the power of 5, 1 to the power of c, or 1 to the power of 12a, then the answer will always be 1. So these are all equal to 1. This is because it doesn't matter how many times you multiply 1 by itself, it's always going to be equal to 1. For example, 1 to the power of 5 is just 5 sets of 1 all multiplied together, which is still just 1. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So, hope you found it useful. If you did, then please do tell your friends about us. And thanks for watching.